ladies. Um, I am doing my second vlog for my frozen embryo transfer and really this is just kind of an update on where I'm at. Um, nothing has really um, changed. I'm not taking any new medication yet um, but the timeline is um, coming soon so I thought I'd um, just let you know how I'm doing. So I've been on birth control now for three weeks and to be honest um, it is the na nausea that I've gotten from it has not changed at all. It's really awful and I'm so annoyed by it because I just kind of feel like it's draining my energy. Kind of like if you've been pregnant, that first trimester um, nausea all day long. So I never got like super sick with hope. Um, praise the Lord. And I feel so awful for people that are constantly vomiting during their pregnancy, but I had pretty much through the first and second trimester that just constant, am I going to throw up? And everything was just kind of gross. And for some reason, bad food always made me feel better and probably why I gained so much weight and whatnot. So um, that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. So I'm really struggling with eating well and, um, you know, just trying to maintain a good attitude while doing... Um, the birth control and to be honest it's hard to have a good attitude because at the same time I'm weaning hope and um, so there's just a lot to it um, I'm trying to think last Thursday so a week ago uh, a week ago today um, I got the flu and I've um, haven't had the flu in probably like six years and the last time I had it um, we're pretty sure I had the swine flu and so it was really terrible um, and this was close to it. It was it was awful. I was totally fine. I was making dinner and then all of a sudden I just literally dropped to my knees and I thought, is this the pill? Am I feeling really sick? And so Stephen went and got me some Pepto. By the time he got back and I tried to take it, I mean it was just every 30 minutes of um, throwing up and well, you know, the other stuff too. It was awful. So, um, honestly, I got it from someone, I really don't know very many people here, but I did meet one girl, and um, I had been at her house, and she said she had felt better, um, but I know that flu can kind of stay in your system and incubate for up to like seven days or something before it kind of takes and destroys your body, really. So I know that's where we got it from. And I was really praying and hoping and asked a lot of people to pray for us that Stephen and Hope would not get it. And unfortunately, they both got it. Um, Stephen got it the least out of all of us. I got it the worst. And then Hope was kind of in the middle. Um, but man, she had a great attitude and she just really powered through. So no, this is not a vlog on my flu. So sorry. <laughs> um, so... Um, where we stand is I'm going to be filling the birth control one more time. I take the birth control through, I believe, January 10th, and um, I don't take the placebo pills. I just take the active pills, and um, and then all my medication has been ordered, my Lupron, my Estradol patches, and my um, progesterone which they have decided to put me on progesterone um, suppositories, which last time I was, um, I took the shots. And to be honest, I actually asked for the shots uh, for two reasons. I don't really want to put um, three suppositories in a day. Um, I think that that's a lot of work and something that I don't really want to do. And um, as awful as the shot is, I just kind of got used to it, and so to me, it just would be easier to do the shot. Um, and it worked last time. I had hope, and I just wanted everything to be exactly the same, so it works again. And um, so I, she asked our, my doctor, and he was just like, you don't need to be on it. You just need to be on the suppository. So I'm going to go with what he thinks is best, and if that's what he thinks is best, then great. So the pharmacy called me two days ago and um, for all the medication from start to the day of the pregnancy test, which would be nine days after February 12th, um, cost me 
$1,190. And that is if I don't need any more Lupron. And at the most, I would need one more vial of Lupron and it would be $200 more for that section. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to try to get, um, say, we're praying, <laughs> say I get pregnant and um, my goal would be then to call my insurance and say, hey, I'm pregnant, not mention the infertility in any sense and just say my levels are low, I need progesterone and I need the estradiol patches. Um, I know for sure they'll pay for the progesterone, um, but the patches I'm not sure and those suckers are expensive and I have to take several. I remember they're just all over your body and you have to find a new spot and, you know, I remember having little tape marks everywhere. So, um... I'm getting super excited and um, and at the same time feeling just really overwhelmed with um, just concern that it won't work. I know I'm really trying hard not to even let my mind go there, but um, to be honest, it's not the money. It's um, It would be sad to lose um, a baby that is already made. But it would be the fact that I'm giving up my relationship, my breastfeeding relationship with Hope in effort to extend our family. And if it didn't work, I would just be so heartbroken on so many levels. Um, and I would probably try to relactate, honestly, <laughs> because I don't see Hope just like never asking for it. Um, we are right now down to, I, I don't remember what I said on the last time, but we're down to two times a day, um, nap time, bedtime. I try not to get up in the middle of the night with her. Steven tries to do that, and then, um, but sometimes I'll let her latch on for 30 seconds in the middle of the night. Um, and she's doing pretty good. Well, then she got sick. And um, I was just so grateful we were still nursing because I felt like I can help her and I can comfort her. And um, so we kind of backtracked a little bit, but I have, I think it's two weeks on Sunday. So um, I could cry thinking about the fact that it's going to be over really soon. So um, I try not to think about it too often. But, um, because I just, you know, I really enjoy that relationship with her and, um, being able to comfort her. So, um, but that's it, you know, we're just trying to stay active, like out and about and, um, doing things to keep her distracted. And Stephen is spending more time with her in the mornings when she wakes up to kind of distract her. And then after nap time, we, I try to just get up and go somewhere, get her in the car even if it's just to go to the grocery store quick, um, because that tends to help her, um, be distracted. So, um, but that's it. Um, uh, the fertility clinic did ask me to pay in full before the cycle starts, um, which would be before January 4th. So to the fertility clinic, just for, the thawing of the embryo, preparation of the embryo, transfer of the embryo is $2,300. And, um, and then I'm going to be monitored here. Um, we're in Green Bay and Appleton is like 30 minutes away. I'll be monitored there and then I'll have to pay separately to them. So I'm not sure if they're going to expect money up front too or what. But um Everyone's going to want money, that's for sure. So I'll be calling in the next couple days to pay in full for um, the, the, you know, to Seattle Reproductive. Um, but I think that's it. I have, I think it's two weeks from Sunday we start shots and um, I just can't believe it. I can't believe it's going to be happening so soon and I'm just really believing for the best and um, believing for a baby and so excited for another bundle of joy and um, to extend our family. So that's the update. Um, if you guys have any questions or if you're going through the same thing or if you're going to be going through the same thing, you know, message me, let me know. I'd love to hear from you and um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.